remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at MDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. The two-week-long mourning period observed by Shekiris in honor of the late Olu of Wari Kingdom, His Royal Majesty Ogame Ikenwole I, was concluded recently with traditional rites performed at Ode Shekiri, traditional headquarters of the Shekiri Nation. With the successful completion of the traditional mourning period, the Shekiris, who came from far and near, to witness the two-week-long traditional and cultural festivities, say they now look forward to the reconciliation of all the Shekiris and eventual coronation of Olu designate Prince Shola Emiko on August 21st, 2021. From the Delta Boat Yard in Wari, the Shekiris all queuing up and trying to get on a boat for a four-minute ride to Uday Shikiri, their ancestral headquarters, uh, for the final day of two weeks of traditional and cultural activities, marking the final burial rites of Ugyame Ikenwale I, the 20th Olu of Wari Kingdom. Different traditional and cultural dances were performed daily for the two weeks by different communities in Ishakiri land. This dance, performed by Ulubu community, is known as Ibiogbe Ulubu. Ibiogbe Ulubu is our traditional dance. You can see that all the song is beneath. That is to tell you the first Ishakiri king, Prince Ginua, is from Bini Kingdom. He's a crown prince of Bini Kingdom, son of Obaulua. And the first Yashere is also from Bini Kingdom. From the Ugboloposo community, the Ugiri dance was performed in honor of the late monarch. Ogono dance is from Daleketa community. The Ogono dance is one very unique and special dance uh, being produced, presented by the Shekiris used in entertaining kings and very eminent personalities. The reason you are seeing it is because of His Majesty Ogyame Ekenwoli who has gone to join his uh, ancestors. From Kuku community, the company dance was also performed. Ubege community is from Wari North local government area. They perform the Mobolua dance. It's called Mobolua. Mobolua, the ordinary meaning is that we came with the king. It's not a dance that is performed every day. It's not a dance that is performed annually. It's a special dance performed only for royalties, particularly at a time like this when we are celebrating the demise of Our Majesty Ogame Kowali. The two weeks of festivities were also witnessed by friends of the Shekiri Nation who daily visited Uday Shekiri to be part of the final burial rites for Ugame Ikenwoli. It has been a fantastic experience for me and uh, the, the late Ugame was a, a very good friend and a very good man. The Shekiris, as I know them to be, they have very, you know, fantastic cultural display and it's been interesting to watch them do their thing. With the period of mourning now over, the Shakiris are now focusing on reconciliation and unity to ensure a hitch-free coronation next month. We intend to crown the 21st Olu of Wari, so unity should be our watchword for us to all unite, work together for the success of the coronation of the next Olu. After this occasion now, what we have now is the coronation of the Omaba, which is Shola, Prince Shola Emiko. I will encourage every Shakiris to come together and have one voice to crown our king so that we can move the community ahead. So after 
two weeks of high level cultural and traditional activities marking the final burial rites of Ugyame Kenwale the first, the twentieth to Lua of Wari here in Ode Shakiri, also known as Big Wari. The Shakiris are now looking forward to August 21st, 2021, the day set aside for the coronation of the 21st Olu of Warwick Kingdom. Inside the Niger Delta, 